Hey, I'm back with a new book today. This is from artist Amanda M. Sanson, and it is Vintage Wine Garden. I love this book. Um, let me just say that it is really whimsical, really cute, hand-drawn, which you guys know I love paint and drawn stuff. It just adds character. Let me get my cup out the way. Now, one thing about this book is um, the pages are very light, as you can see. The lines are light, and that's good for two things. It's, well, no, it's good and bad for two things. One, it's bad for reviewing things like this. It's hard to see the pages. Um, I'm sure you can see them pretty good. It's all wine bottles. The good thing is when you are coloring something like this, all of that extra line, that ink, doesn't smear when you um, when you use your blender. It doesn't smear all into the, the colors, which I really like. So, you know, it's a win-win, I guess. Let's see if I can go up a little higher for you. So you can see all the bottles. Give me some white light. It says, finest wine in town. I love all the cute little wine bottles. Live, laugh, wine. Now, if you love your wine, you will love this book. All oh, the grapes and the fruit. Really cute the way she drew that. The Paracene Shop. This is the one I colored, and I didn't realize until after that it was the front cover. But um, I had so much fun coloring this. Yeah. It's got a lot of stickles and gel pens. Yeah, I was really excited about this page. I forgot to color the base of the um the lamp. I just realized that. Oh well. <laughs> And see, I protected my work because those Copics and Tombos, they do go through your pages. Um, and this is a single-sided book, non-perforated. Um, you can't live on wine alone. Add chocolate. Yes, indeed. Look at the little pastries and cheese. Yum. I just want to go have a wine and cheese picnic now. I love the flowers. I like how she does her roses. Vintage room. Very neat. Got the Polaroid. <laughs> yeah, that's vintage, huh? How would you like a wine uh, machine at your disposal? Garden stuff. It's wine time. Really, really cute and whimsy. I mean, children could color this, but with the wine theme, I would think not. <laughs> Yum. Look at the bread, like brioche. I can see tomatoes and stuff. That looks delicious. Cucumbers. Seeds, watermelon, cucumber. They're just having a party in the garden, and I want to go. The winery. White wine tea. Wow. That is cool. She's got all her stuff from her garden, her bell peppers, her mushrooms. She's got cheese, leaves, tomatoes. Did I say tomato? Oh, and this is brunch. we got more deliciousness over here. Like rosemary, also got some olives and grape jam. Oh, this is making me hungry. Vintage garden. You had me at Merlot. <laughs> That's a good one. I really like that one. And I like how she does the little circles around all her little leaves and things. I used my um my favorite gel pens. I always show all the time. These uh, what are they called? Flare. I think it's Bic Flare, maybe? I love these. Those are the best. They last forever, and they're so strong. The colors are gorgeous. It's 
some butterflies and some strawberries. This says sip, sip, hooray. <laughs> and then I was just using the back for some test colorings. But yeah, let me show you. All of this, all of this, anything you see shiny, all the little dots, that's all from those markers. I mean, not markers, the gel pens. They just work really, really well on my bottles and everything. I think it came out really nice. So again, this is what the back looks like. It's got one of her pictures. This is what the front looks like, all colored in, really pretty. Um, and it's Amanda M. Sanson. All right, guys, go check her out. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.